Hey everyone, my name is Wyatt Brokowski with Farmer's Pride. I work at our Pierce location. I'm a sales agronomist there. And today we're going to be talking about tissue sampling and kind of what that is, um, the whole process behind it, why we do it. Um, and then I'm going to kind of go through on a demonstration on, on actually how to do it. So um, kind of one of the reasons why we do it um, is to gauge where the plant is throughout that season. Did it uptake the nutrients we put in? in the fall is it up taking the nutrients we put in at planting time and you know as it gets later into vt and r1 as we are right now um then allows us to kind of gauge where the plant's at um and potentially save this plant from showing deficiency symptoms um as we're going throughout the year um so and then kind of what is tissue sampling so tissue sampling is the process of removing um, the collared leaf on corn so you kind of want to start around um, v5 um, and that is five collared leaves. Um, and so the collar on the leaf, you can kind of tell it, it forms almost like a collar, like on you have like on a shirt. Um, and so that's five true leaves. And you want to be able to take the whole entire plant and then they'll kind of give you a good idea of, of what that plant needs throughout the growing season. Um, and then you kind of want to wait, you want to go to around V7, V8. I mean, you can go earlier more often, but I try to shoot for about four or five times a year I'm going out and uh, doing some tissue sampling. Um, so V8, V9, you want to kind of want to hit that again, wait a couple weeks, go back out. Um, and then you might want to hit it again right before VT and uh, R1. Um, but then you really want to hit it this time because this is a super stressful time for the plant. You know, it's it's pollinating, it's trying to, um, to reproduce, put on the ear, it's silking. Um, so this is a really, really big deciding factor I previously mentioned that it's kind of a snapshot in time. And, and what I mean by that is um, it's solely as soon as I take a pair of scissors um, and cut off the flag leaf in this situation, but a collard leaf in another situation, that is a moment in time. You know, that's it's only good to me from that moment. Um, and so as soon as I get into the lab, as soon as I get that information back, it's showing me what that plant had available at that time. And it could change immediately after I, I'm, I'm cutting that off. So um, that's why we talk about consistency, consistently doing it, going out to the field, getting it done. Um, and now I'm gonna kind of go through the process of actually doing it, um, grabbing my bag, grabbing a pair of scissors. And this is also a service that our sales agronomists provide as well when they're out crop scouting. Um, there's complimentary tissue sampling done. On a corn plant this tall, you have pretty sizable leaves and you're not going out any of these larger leaves. You're not going for any of these collared larger leaves. What you're actually going for is this flag leaf right here. That is the highest collared leaf right next to the uh, pollination. So right next to the tassel. So you're gonna wanna be cutting this leaf. And I'm gonna cut right there. And I'm gonna explain why I cut instead of pulling it down. So if I try to pull here, I could risk tearing a lot of the stem, a lot of the tassel. Um, it, it just re really leaves a, a kind of a, a bad cut. Now that I have this, I'm going to do this 15 more times and I'm gonna to wanna to go in a zigzag pattern. So I'm gonna go five or six feet that way and do repeat that process until I have 15 leaves cut. But I'm going to grab my, uh, my tissue sample bag and these have been provided to us by Winfield United. Um, and I'm going to put probably 15 uh, samples in here. Now, Usually um, I wanna go for a minimum of 12, but 15, 16 is kind of where I'm comfortable with. So as soon as you do that, you wanna fill out the information on the bag. So you're gonna need your grower name, um, the field name, the sample name, the crop. So in this case, it's going to be corn, uh, stage. So right now we're probably at R1. So once I have this done, I'm gonna go back to the office and fill out A submittal form so you can either do this online which is the way i prefer um, it's the same form it just allows you to enter in all the information online or you can do it by hand and then if you look closer there's different there's different tests down here and so some of these offer different type of um of testing issues and some of them could be used for stock nitrates so if you're bringing in silage corn and stuff like that but just for tissue sampling, we're gonna run a P2 routine test. And that's just gonna give us all the basic information that we need. So once I have that, and once I have my bag full of, of leaves, I'm going to put them into a Ward Labs 
box um, and then I'm going to tape it up, put a shipping label on it and, and send her off. Once we get the results back, um, it's gonna give us a really good idea of where our plant is sitting as far as any of the nutrients and stuff like that. If we're deficient in any area, this still allows us time to put product out there. Say we're short on boron or copper, or you know maybe we need to go out there with Y drops and stuff like that. So um, kind of really just allows us to gauge where it's at. But overall, it's a process that, you know, if you're going to start doing it, do it regularly, do it often, do it every year. If you have any more questions, don't be afraid to call your, your local sales agronomist at a Farmer's Pride location, and um, we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.